Good afternoon. Yesterday, our county set a new record with 1,450 new patients diagnosed with COVID. To put that into perspective, this is double the record we set just last week. We are clearly seeing increased levels of transmission in our community, and we know from historic data that about 10% of individuals diagnosed with COVID will need hospitalization. Yesterday, we had 62 new individuals hospitalized, and we expect that this number will be above 100 in the very near future. With that, we are very concerned about our healthcare system's capacity, in particular when it comes to ICU beds. As of today, we have 50 empty ICU beds remaining in our county. That's 50 beds for a county of 2 million people to care not just for COVID, but to care for everyone who needs critical care in a hospital. Many of our hospitals can continue to have five or fewer vacant ICU beds. The hospitals are doing their part. They are working very hard to balance the load among themselves. They are canceling elective surgeries. They are finding nurses in their systems and deploying them to the most critically ill patients. The county is also looking at all options, including sites where people may be able to get care, looking with our regional county partners at how we may be able to expand options for treatment. But we cannot do this alone. We need to all redouble our efforts right now to help prevent the spread of COVID. We need to wash our hands. We need to distance. We need to wear masks. This is the only way that we're gonna get through this. Last spring, our community showed that we are able to flatten the curve. Now is the time where we all must come together and remember that spirit we had and get at it again. As Dr. Marty said, a vaccine is coming and it does provide hope, but it's not gonna be immediate and we need to get through this time together. Thank you very much.